Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're talking tote bags. Specifically, the easiest way to put full color artwork on tote bags. Now, we're going to discuss which ultra color transfers here from Transfer Express are going to be the best bet depending on the scope of your project. And then we're gonna, of course, print some tote bags. So are you ready? Let's get into it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now today, our bags of choice are this Port Authority Ideal Twill Convention Tote with a nice little uh, gusset at the bottom. And of course, the Port Authority B150 Budget Tote Bag. These are both extremely affordable canvas totes available in a couple different colorways. Now these budget totes are really cool because they do have a few of these two-tone strap colorways and of course, then your regular solid colors. Now that we've got our bags ready to go, let's take a second and talk about what transfers we could use for full color or photographic artwork. Now when I'm talking about full color artwork, I'm really talking about anything with some fades, gradients, uh, some like shadows on the text like our example here today, or three or more colors. Of course, one of our examples here does actually have a photograph in it that we're unable to do with our screen printed transfers. If you're just doing white or black one color graphics, our screen printed transfers like Goofproof are going to be your go-to option. With our full color options, I wanna talk about Ultra Color Max. It's going to be your go-to for those full color graphics under 36 quantity. Now, Ultra Color Max is a direct-to-film transfer with vibrant colors, no clear outlines, and simple six cents per square inch pricing. It's available as an individual image or a gang sheet in any quantity and any size up to 22 by 22 inches. It's super simple to apply and works best on cotton, polyester, and cotton poly blends at just 290 degrees for the pressing temperature. Now, what is great is that you could group a whole bunch of different designs on a whole bunch of different colors in low quantity all on one sheet too. Now, we just used our free EasyView online designer at Transfer Express to arrange all of our artwork, all with quotes that update in real time right here on the bottom of the screen based on the size of your project, along with accurate turnaround times. So it's pretty helpful. Now, if you do need more than just a few, well, pretty much anything over 36 quantity, is likely going to be more cost effective to switch over to our Ultra Color Pro transfers. Ultra Color Pro is a hybrid screen printed and digital transfer, which is capable of some incredible detail and color while offering quantity price breaks on an 11 and a half by 18 inch gang sheet. Ultra Color Pro does have a slight clear adhesive outline, but as you'll see here with our project, it is invisible to the eye. Now here for our first example today, let's say we're going to be printing a whole bunch, so let's use those Ultra Color Pro transfers. So we're gonna head on back to the heat press here, and I'll show you just how easy it is. So coming on back here to our Hotronic 16 by 20 auto clam, we have our temperature here set to 340 degrees. We have 10 seconds on our timer, and I have our second stage timer at 10 seconds as well, 10 and 10. So we are all set. We're gonna go ahead and grab our tote bag here. Now this is that awesome two-tone version. And we're gonna go ahead and when we align this one here, we just wanna make sure that you have this top seam and these straps just off the printing area. The first step here is going to actually be to pre-press this. So it's gonna remove all these wrinkles and creases and everything, and most importantly, remove the moisture in the cotton fabric. So while we do that, we're also going to be checking our pressure. We wanna be in a nice medium to firm range. Once we're pre-pressed and we have a nice smooth, flat, even printing surface, just like that, look how great that looks, we'll go ahead and grab our Ultra Color Pro transfer. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Ultra Color Pro is perfect for those higher quantity orders, and you'll see just how easy this thing applies. 10 seconds at 340 degrees, it's gonna make this nice and easy. Now, the trick to printing with Ultra Color Pro is as soon as this press opens, peel the carrier away fast, smooth, and quickly. Just like this, a quick peel, and it's all done. You'll notice that the carrier almost feels rubbery 
when it comes off the press, and that's how you're gonna get the best application. What's left behind is an absolutely fantastic full color result. Now, for our next example, I wanna show you how Ultra Color Max is going to do on our tote bags. Again, it's just going to apply at 290 degrees, so we'll have to adjust the temperature of our heat press. Now, we're also gonna set our time to 15 seconds for both of our timers here, just to make it easy on our Hotronics Auto Clamp. All right, here for our second example with our Ultra Color Max, we do have this convention tote with the gusset in it. And I mentioned that earlier, uh, I mean, because the convention tote, of course, you're gonna be hauling around a whole bunch of goodies from a trade show, so it's gonna need to be nice and thick to hold everything. But that's going to introduce some extra layers of fabric on the inside in here. Now I'm worried about those bunching up and affecting our pressure when we're pressing this. There's a couple ways we could go about it. Number one, we could grab one of these mouse pads. They are super affordable to just get and throw right on inside something like this tote bag. Now we'll turn it sideways and align it to where we're going to be putting our print. And so you could see it in there. Let's just center it up so it's aligned with where we're gonna be printing. And that's gonna be effectively raising our print area here above any of these obstructions. I'll still keep all of these off the print area and that way we could have a nice firm flat surface to print on. However, if you do have a Hotronics press similar to what we have right here, our auto clam comes with the quick change platens. So this makes it so super easy for any apparel decorator to easily be able to swap this out for a smaller size. So what we'll do is we'll just reach down here and open our quick change mechanism and lift the large full size platen right out and replace it here with a smaller one. So we'll just align this right in and lock it back down. Now with that, we could take our tote bag, open it up, and thread it right on. So now we are isolating just our print area and we can even center it up a little bit nicer. Now, one thing we're gonna have to do before we do anything is pre-press and that's gonna remove some of the moisture from this cotton fabric. It's also going to allow us to adjust our pressure. One thing to keep in mind though too is because we've reduced the surface area of this platen, we don't necessarily need that full medium to firm pressure anymore. We could get away with something more like a four or five because effectively we've reduced our coverage area by more than half. So let's just make sure we're nice and centered up on here with smaller platens. Sometimes it gets a little weird because you have a whole bunch of extra fabric and you can't clearly see the dimensions of the product. So here, I'm just gonna pull this down and of course, we don't have anything on that. So I'm gonna crank our pressure down and adjust our pressure while we're pre-pressing. Perfect. Right there is probably gonna be A-OK -okay for our print. And we'll get our transfer. Here we've got our transfer and we're gonna align it right here on our tote bag just to check again to see how centered we are. But once we're all set, we're happy with it. No cover sheet, no nothing else. Just 15 seconds at 290 degrees for Ultra Color Max. Now, Ultra Color Max being a hot peel, as soon as this press opens, we're gonna remove the carrier immediately, leaving us with an awesome print. Beautiful. And that's some full color prints on these tote bags. Ultra Color transfers truly make it that easy, whether you're using Max for those lower quantities or Pro for the high quantities. With all of the ultra colors, there's no weeding, no aligning, and photographic elements are possible without any expensive printers and ink or any of those worries. All we needed was just a heat press, and bam, we've got an awesome retail-ready quality result. But thanks for watching here on the Transfer Express YouTube channel. Be sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all of the helpful education and inspirational videos that we're posting here every single week. And until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.